Wow, look at this absolutely stunning 1979 Mercedes 450 SEL. This is the 116 series, of course. Finished in dark blue. It's a non-metallic. With cream velour interior. And of course, being a Euro-spec car, this car was personally imported from Germany when it was only a few years old. It has the really nice slimline bumpers and uh, the correct factory style headlamps. Look at that, what a beautiful car. those headlamps and also with the optional wipers the wipers were an option I think they may have been standard on the 6.9 but they were an option for the uh, 450 standard 450 interior finished in cream velour this is that uh, factory velour. Don't think they were ever sold in the US. Perhaps they could have been ordered, but I don't recall actually ever having seen a, an American car, so to speak, ordered with these seats. Look at that. Original 74,000 miles. Not a single crack on the dash. Still has the original dash. You can tell that by the uh, pebble grain. The wood is excellent. It does have an aftermarket radio, but whoever changed it, thank goodness, kept the original Becker. And that's in the trunk and comes with the car. In the rear, same again. That interior is gorgeous and the condition, the front seats normally on the bolsters they all wear, these are just perfect. Being a Euro spec it has the uh, rear headrests which are adjustable, you can tilt them up or forward just like the front ones. Alloy wheels. These have been uh, sandblasted and powder coated, not painted, just regular paint, I mean, powder coated in the correct brilliant silver that these wheels should be, and uh, white wall tires fitted. If you don't like the white walls, you can easily uh, flip the tires inside out. Look at that, not a single tear or mark on the side bolster. And you can tell the low mileage when you look at things like the steering wheel, which has all the detailed grain, which normally would wear off. Let's see the odometer there. 73,000. 800 odd miles. None of the sun fade that you often see on these cream color or light colored interiors, they often go sort of very brown up there or even up there. None of that. Just a very beautiful color. trunk, all original, the original carpet, there's the original Becker unit, which will look beautiful back where it belongs, 
So you have the carpet, the rubber, and if you look under here, even the spare is, the spare is original. For those people who know, that weight is an original Mercedes weight. That little green dot was a, an inspection mark, and clearly by the look of the rim and the tire, it's uh, never been on the car. None of the hood. Truly quite spectacular as well. This is gonna be a bit tricky trying to do this. I'm gonna have to put the phone down to get. Sorry about that. I had to put the phone down to get the two latches. And look at this. Just a really, really well-preserved car. When you look closer along here, it's gonna be hard to pick up the camera, but it's all original paint. Often when they've been repaired, you either lose these stickers or you see really unattractive mast edges. This is all original. Underbonnet padding's been replaced, they often go, but this has been done well. It's even got a brand new vacuum uh, pump and distribution unit. This is the unit that does the climate control, the vacuum control door locks. So everything is working. I would describe this as just a really, really nice altogether Stunning present presentation, 450 SEL. Is it Concord? Uh, I don't know, but I tell you what, it's very high in the ranking. And certainly you could take this to any Mercedes-Benz show tomorrow, as is. And... Uh, receive some accolades for just how nice she is. Very, very beautiful motor car. My name is Rod Sala, and I can be reached, if you're interested in this car, at my name, Rod, R-O-D-D-S-A-L-A, -D -D at Comcast.